for a knitter's video, I'm going to show you how to work a stitch called the alternate stitch, which is very fun to work. And I have a few crochet videos coming out this summer, and I'm going to say that they, each one of them is kind of a closed stitch that makes a, a nice dishcloth. If you have a little bit of leftover cotton or cotton blend yarn and a little bit of time, you want to try something fun. These are fun to make, and uh, It'll give you enough practice with the, with the stitch to see if you want to commit to an entire blanket or something. But in the meantime, you have some leftover yarn, you have a hook and a little bit of time, you can make something like this. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the stitch. This is about a six by six dish cloth that I made and it used 20 grams of yarn uh, total, like 10 grams in, in each color. And I did a single crochet border around the outside. This is a uh, worsted weight, excuse me, worsted weight yarn, and I used a size H crochet hook. And all the details for working the stitch and the yarns I used and everything else will be in the video description field below. Now here's another example in a bulky yarn, and you can see this stitch kind of makes little daisies. It's very pretty, and it's the same on both sides, and it's a dense stitch. It's not too lacy, and it makes it's good for dishcloths that way. And I I covered it up by doing a single crochet. Uh, border around this, but this is this is the natural border. It's kind of it's kind of flowery itself. It's pretty. But I covered it up on the other one. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you how to work this stitch. This is fun to work. There's nothing wrong with covering it up either. I'm going to chain a multiple of two plus two which is a multiple of two essentially. But the multiple of two will be the width of your, um, your piece and then you add two stitches to that for chaining up purposes. So a multiple of two plus two, I am going to chain 14 and I'm not going to talk while I'm chaining because I always mess up my count, but I'll give you a link here to the chain video if you need a slow demonstration. Okay, so I chain my multiple of two plus two. And on row one, I'm going to skip three chain stitches and put two single crochets in the next chain. So I never count the one that's on the hook. I'm going to skip one, two, three. And in the fourth one, in the, in the top leg of the V, I'm going to put two single crochets. So I pull up a loop and pull through two. There's one. Go into the same hole, pull up a loop, grab the yarn and pull through two. Then I'm going to skip one chain and put two more in this chain. It's a pretty simple pattern. It's certainly easy to memorize. I got one in there. Put the second one in there. Skip a chain, 2SC in the next one. Skip a chain, 2SC in the next one. You do this until you get to the end of the row. And the last stitch, you should skip one and then be at the last stitch and do 2SC. This is how you get kind of that, that pico edge on it. It's because you're putting 2S single crochets in the last stitch. And then I'm going to chain two and turn the work. Now on the next row, it's really the rest of this pattern is just repeating the next row over and over again. And I'm going to skip the two chain stitches, skip one stitch, and then I'm going to go under both legs of the V in this case and work two single crochets into this stitch. Skip one, go under both legs of the next V, the next stitch, it looks like a bind off row in knitting, and put two single crochets in this stitch. Skip one, two single crochets. And that is the whole thing. It ends up being pretty mindless, pretty easy, but crochet goes so quickly that I think it's really satisfying, it's really gratifying, especially if you've been working on a big knitting project and you want to crank out something fun and little in crochet, it goes really quickly. One more thing I forgot to tell you, 
is that in this dishcloth, in this nautical looking dishcloth, I changed colors every two rows and I didn't cut the yarn each time, I just ran the yarn, the color I wasn't using, up the side of the work. I'm giving you all kinds of ideas for crocheted dishcloths. I hope you have fun with it. Good luck.